All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here, coach of the Copenhagen Galates, with my UPA Week One battle against the Atlanta Failings, coached by Nadia. So we're starting here at the team page. Uh, I quickly want to uh, talk about some few changes. Actually, just one change I did to my team builder because I had a bit of time between it and this battle. Uh, I opted to go with Earthquake on Delmice. Because I actually didn't need anchor shot, uh, and I think Earthquake actually helped me a lot more against uh, Charizard switching, Dravian switching, Corvallian switching, Raikou switching. I can see with the team she actually brought. Um, and speaking of her team, I kind of predicted most of it. I predicted the Charizard, the Prim, the Drapion, the Lando. The Raikou was a 50 50, but she did bring it, and I did not expect her to bring Corvallian at all. She brought it instead of Bronzong. And honestly, I think that might have been a mistake because I do not see a Terragion switching besides Lando. I mean, had I been choice band Terragion, I mean, I guess Cobalion still takes the Stone Edge. Right, so I just quickly want to address this. Um, I have been having some showdown problems lately. I don't know why, I don't know what is happening. But uh, I apparently I got disconnected, so I had my opponent tell me that if I do get connected, tell me in the DMs. Uh, and she did, so I thanked her. But uh, yeah, as men mentioned, um, I kind of predicted her team. So I think I think she could lead off Cobalion for rocks. She could lead off Landers for rocks. Um, overall, I think leading me is it wouldn't be bad. Uh, I could get off my own rocks. Uh, I do have spin on Delmice. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna lead new. Actually, did we? So I think she kind of predicted my new lead, um, which is unfortunate. Um, so here I do have my Culberberry, so I can opt to go for the. I can opt to go, still go for my rocks, or I could go off to go. Oh, I could also go for the, uh, scorch, scorching sand in hopes of potentially burning this dragon. Because if I do, that's huge for me. Uh, if I do burn this dragon, that actually means um, that she doesn't have much of a switch in, switch into Mew whatsoever. Uh, and I can, I know I can take a. Uh, a knockoff no matter what. The worst case scenario is probably her toxicing you right now. Um, I don't know how important. No, my, my rocks are actually very important for this Charizard. Plus, the only removal she has is Charizard herself or Landorus. Uh, I do think I do think Landorus is going to be defog and probably Cobalion with rocks. Um, I'm sorry, that's just my Discord notifications going off. How important do I value rocks here? Precious the chairs out of list. The Landers take some chip. Overall, I actually think this is why I brought Culver Barracks for this exact situation. Actually, so I'm gonna prioritize my rocks. Yeah, I thought so. Thought as much. Right, so it took 29% with my. That's very much within calc, so I think she is zero attack investment, um, which means I can take one more. And I think I'm actually just gonna scorching sands. Burn? No burn. Ooh, she is T spikes. That is not good. That's not good. I really didn't want her to be T spikes. I really did not want her to be T spikes. So the question here is, do I just keep scorching sands here? Oh, if she gets another layer of T spikes, that's going to be f oh, that's going to be so bad. So. The biggest problem would be that I have to sw swap into Delmice as fast as possible. But the problem this is I can't really swap in against the Drapion itself, especially now that I know that it has knock off. Of course it was gonna have knock off. So I'm I'm kinda wanting to scorching Sanders again. Because if I can burn this, I actually do think Delmice doesn't care too much. But then I'll lose my AD and really don't want to lose my Oh, this isn't the greatest, this isn't the greatest, it's not the greatest start. Um, 
Also, having to kind of uh, talk over the battle is actually kind of weird for me. It's my first time ever doing it. So, if I ever have some breaks where I don't really say a whole lot, or if I speak too fast, it's because I'm not thinking about it. Okay, so I think you can very much go for the the, t the toxic spikes again. Uh, how important? Oh my god, right now I ask you. I really, really wish. I really, really wish I had gone with Defog or Neuburn to better deal with this. Okay, so I do think she is gonna. I think what I could do is I could go into Neuburn, predicting the toxic spikes, and then I could super fang whatever wants to come in, and then U turn afterwards. I don't think that's a bad strat. But also, I don't want to lose my heavy duty boots. Actually, I'm just going to score. Oh, she did. She did go into... Oh, I kind of thought she was going to go into landers Because, I mean, it made sense with me scorching sands and all that. So, question... Okay, so she's a landerist with leftovers. Uh, I am very much expecting this to be a defensive landerist. The problem is, I am Psy Shock and not Psy Kick. Um, so, I actually don't do a whole lot to this. Now the question is, do I just go? Oh, but I don't want. Oh, I really don't want to go. In. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm not playing. I'm not playing very, very well right now, because if I go into Vaporeon, I let Vaporeon get poisoned, and I don't want to do that. If I go into Delmice, I risk getting knocked off, and a knockoff on Delmice is no bueno. It is not good, because that means I lose to Primarina pretty much. <laughs> Okay, knockoff on Mew. Mew doesn't have its berry. I could ruse to kind of gauge what she wanna do. Okay, I survive any one hit this thing wanna go for if it's if it is defenders. Which if she's not defensive, I think that's the weirdest kind of that's the weirdest thing I've probably seen. Okay, I I, I gotta start focusing more on my on my match instead of fighting. Weird. I don't know why she's asking if it's... How <laughs> okay, funny. So she asked if Scorching Sands can have flying types, which of course it can do. It's a ground move and it's not a thousand arrows. But she she just mis misread it. I really don't know what to do here. I want to damage this. Okay, so Mew isn't super important for my end game. actually. Mew doesn't really beat a whole lot of a team. Um... So I think I kind of want to just go for size shock. So this does. So this can takes less. Th this can take less from Taraga, and it can't take a hit after that. I'm just gonna size shock. I'm I'm gonna size shock and try and gauge w if she is defensive or not. <sighs> See, right now I wish. Uh, so yeah, that no. Okay, she's not fully defensive. That earthquake did. Okay, so I can roost on this. She's not fully defensive. If she U-turns now, that's kind of annoying because that leads to... Okay, she occurs again. Okay, so I, I can roost against this. Um, I don't think I'll... <laughs> I mean, when... when yeah, she, oh my, she, of course, critted on the U-turn. Oh, that's annoying. That's super annoying. She brings in... If she brings in Cobalion now, that's actually very good information because that tells me that Cobalion is a fast variant. Where uh, if she brings Raikou in, she, pff, I mean... It is uh, that's where I kind of thought Raikou was gonna be. So Hadrabian is at sixty five percent, which means it can still get toxic spikes off even if I were to. Even if I were to, um, what you call it? Get them away. Okay, she actually brings in Hadrabian. That actually gives me an opportunity to roost again. I know I'm kind of letting her team do what she wants. What she wants her team to do. But at the same time, getting my Mew up in health. Oh, it's, it's so I have to. I want I want to get Mew's health up. I am unfortunately kind of playing into her hand right as she knocks off. So so she can't kill Mew right now. That's the the good part. Oh, she t actually that's not bad for me because that leaves me a seventy-seven. 
my scorching sands. TT spikes. Okay. Okay. Here, do I do I make the prediction? Do I think she's gonna go into land? How much would? How much will Landorus take from Neuvern? Also, I have my calc on my second monitor, so that's why you can't see me do the calcs. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you actually want to see them. I can kind of see if I can figure out having them on one screen without it being too zoomed in. Because as you can see, I'm kind of zoomed in on the battle. So, Landorus does take a Draco Meteor, but I highly doubt you have much to hit Neuwen with anyway. Question is, does she sack her... Does she sack her Drabian here, or does she swap into Lander? That's kind of the question here. Because if it's Scorching Sands and she swaps into Lando, that's of course uh, not a good play. If she swaps into Lando and, swap into, and I swap into Neuwen, I think I'm kind of in a demanding position here. If she knocks off and I swap into Neuvern, that's a bad position because I do want to keep. Then again, she might actually not have rocks since she didn't. Would she didn't put them up on Lando? So only Cobalion can have rocks. Okay, Christian here, Christian here, Christian here. I want to swap into Neuvern, predicting Landorus, because I can pressure. If I were in a, if I were in an offensive layer. Which uh, offers in Neuvern, which if you watch my team build, I'm not. But if I were, I would pressure that lander is out a lot. And I actually think I would. I want to click Super Fang, whatever she wants to. I don't. Ah, oh, wait. Oh, she might have Stone Edge. I don't know. I'm. I'm not. I'm not smart. I'm not. And I'm taking quite a long time. Ah, oh, she. No Freaking oh my god! I should I should just oh I should just scorching. Sa she sacked the Drabian. Oh, that's so annoying. That's really annoying. Losing heavy duty boots on uh, Neuvern. That is that is not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see at all. So the question here is: Do I Draco Media? No, because the Draco Media uh, I allowed the Primarina to come in. So I think, oh, but at the same time. I want a sewer fang because if she brings in anything, I take take away half the half the health. Um, Neuron being a seventy-five, as long as she doesn't have rocks up, is not the worst. I'm gonna. Oh, oh my god, I, I feel this weird. I know there's no not anyone actually watching live, but I feel this weird pressure doing it as a recording, and I think it's throwing me off a bit of. It's throwing me a bit off my game. Also, having to look, it's actually really weird. Having to look at my calcs on my left side is strange. Because I'm so used to it being on, swapping back and forth with it and showdown. I want to drop a Drago to kill this Drabion, but then she brings in the Primarina. I have to bring... Well, okay, that does put, put me in a position where I could bring in my... Uh, Delmise and I can get a rapid spin off. It's so actually I'm it's risky F, but I'm I'm gonna Oh my god she did it. Oh my god, that's a play. I should have super thanked. I should have super oh my go with my gut, go with my gut. How many times have I been told to go with my gut and how many times do I do it? I've been told maybe like a couple hundred times and I kid you not. <laughs> I can't <of, laughs> I don't <laughs> and I kid you not but I actually think I only do it like 10% of the time. It's not good. Oh, this is not a good commander position. Um, but I do U-turn here, like, easily. I think, even, even if, wait, if, if she were a choice scarf, okay, if she were a, uh, wait, that's my chandelier. <laughs> no, even a choice scarf can now, wow, I got a crit uh, U-turn, wow. Now, the, the question here is, is she a choice specs a moonblast? To my Delmise does 38% to 45% from a modest. And the problem is with Toxic, she actually gets a chance at killing, I'm pretty sure. Because this is, but I have to go. 
This is gonna be very risky because if uh, if Delmas goes down, I lose a mon every time this is the thing comes in. Um, yeah, I kind of just do. I can't really deal with it a whole lot. I really think changing Mirror from Psychic to Psyshock was a mistake because the Psychic damage would have pressured her a lot more. I have to, I have to go Delmas. I'm not much. For, oh my god, this is gonna yo. Yeah. Okay, that looks like Specs damage. That looks a lot like Specs damage, right? She did 41 out of Specs. Can, can, she, can she be timid here? Okay, she could be timid and get an absolute max roll, but I'm just gonna spin. I want these. God, oh, that's also that's also such good play. At plus one, do I outspeed the Dramion? That's actually a good question. Because if I do, I can kill her here. I, I mean, it depends how defense. No, I can't. I can't speed this thing. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay, so the question here: Do I let my Delmage go down in the hopes? Okay, what what I could do here is I could rapid spin again. Wait, at plus two to outspeed this thing. Oh my god, I don't know if she has any speed. No, I have to EQ. So basically, what I I should have had D4 on Neuvern, 100% I should have had, I should have, I even th I think I even said in my team prep that I'm kind of scared of T-Spikes, I freaking brought the T-Spikes, it's super annoying, yeah, I'm just quickly gonna, I don't know if you can see this, sorry if you can, I just, uh, Weezing would not have been a bad spring actually, considering what she brought, Weezing would not have been bad, okay, because I think she might T-Spikes, and this isn't taking a hit from Primarina. Anyway, how did I lose that much health? I don't get it. A Moonblast and they didn't really take that much from... Oh my god, I'm gonna eat... Oh, she just knocked off. <sighs> I'm I'm, I'm kind of playing like super duper uber bad here, just so you all know. Um, I don't always play like this. Sometimes I do. I mean... It is what it is. Okay, so the question here is she has knockoff T Spikes taunt. Would she have a poison type move for Grimson? Yeah, for Grimson, she probably does. So if I presume she has poison jab, I can actually go into Teragion and I can SD here. Uh, I can substitute. And what she goes into, what Lander is probably. So maybe I can capitalize on this. So if that is a max defensive Landorus, and I what what if I just but what if I just SD like straight up? If the Landorus swap move, yeah, it swap moves. So so if I the problem is. Okay, I can't kill. I would have to just straight. So basically, what I have to do is I have to go into. I see the problem is I don't know how much speed this Drabian has because otherwise I would just go into Chandelure. But I, I don't know how much speed this has. And is that becomes a very risky thing? Is uh, I think going to Teragian here is probably the safe play. I think sobbing. Because you can't break it no matter what, if, unless she has an EQ. So I think going into Dragon and uh, substitute. I think that's the play. Because I, sh uh, I am 100% faster than her. Uh, she could taunt me right here, so I can't get an SD up. That would suck a bit. Um, she could also go into Landorus. Uh, that uh, uh, an, an immediate swap to Landorus is, of course, what I'm expecting. But Rocks plus. Actually, rocks plus a plus one defensive two fifty two. So let's see, rocks plus a plus one stone edge cannot kill. Okay, she does have the man. If I had Grimmsnarl, holy shite, she could touch Grimmsnarl. Like, I mean, she could taunt me, but but other than that, like knock off the. Okay, I mean, I mean, I guess EQ does something. I guess. 
Okay, the EQ does 43 to 50. Uh, the Rally Crew outspeeds me 100%. Like, I want a Stone Edge predicting the Landers, but also want a Close Combat just for the accuracy. I am not in a good position here. I'm playing so so poorly. It's insane. <sighs> if a Stone Edge and I miss, I'm gonna regret it, like, a lot. But at the same time, if a Stone Edge and she swaps in the Landers and I hit, that's that's really, really good for me. Because that means the lander is, is within range next time Dragon is in. Which <laughs> she she was she's definitely scared of the Dragon because pretty much everything she has can deal with it in some way. <sighs> Do a CC. I mean I think even the CC would actually bring Landorus, right? It would bring Landorus within range, wouldn't it? The CC does 25 to 30 percent so with rocks twice yeah i'm just gonna cc be be safe because i'm gonna have to swallow out no matter what so yeah it is what it is of course oh, that's right take life of damage too that's oh, i'm just i'm not in a good position here i don't th i don't think i'm playing all that well okay so i know for sure she's not going into charge out i know for sure she can primar primarina Choice specs because it's, it's a ch no, it can't. Okay, so Cobalion, Cobalion, it is. The problem with Cobalion is I didn't expect it, first of all, so my team isn't really all that great against it. Uh, and it has Vault Switch, and Vault Switch is super annoying. It is really, really plus this thing is most likely, uh, it's most likely Scarf actually. Now that I think about it, it's most likely Scarf. Um, because otherwise it's very risky to bring it in against, yeah, so, sh so she's either just going to CC. Oh, did, did, oh my god, the Pikachu was a lot. Yeah, she's either going to CC or she is going to, She is gonna watch from a call it uh, Vault Switch. I actually think Vault Switch is the bigger chance because I'm, pl I'm minus one anyway, so I would take huge damage for from it. Okay, Vaporeon doesn't take a whole lot from Vault Switch. I'm just gonna go Vaporeon to be safe. Okay, ZZ 40%. Okay, I am gonna wish here. Get up a wish. If she goes into the Raikou, what do I do then? Do I actually... Okay, no, I actually do not take a hit. Oh my god, I'm not... Oh, I'm fighting a losing battle because, first of all, I lost Delmise. Yeah, I knew it, Raikou. So the question here is... What do I do? So I can pretty much send in whatever I want because she would have to one-shot me. Um question is here if I don't if I don't get the health on Vaporeon I actually don't take hits from yeah no she she's really she's found a good way to pressure my team because yeah all these mon can also touch me guess had I brought a wheezing wheezing would have been the best to bring here because it it deals with landers it deals with Cobalion, it kind of deals with Charizard too so wheezing would have been a very good bring here but if I go into Shander and he t if he t bolts If he bolts, that's not the worst because I get a very free fire blast out of here. I get such a free. I have to I have to be a bit aggressive. I do think what she's gonna do is she's gonna most likely she is most likely gonna wall switch here. I think that's that's like the best choice for her. Okay, so the question here is, do I believe I outspeed the landers? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Shenandoah. I have to. Okay, oh, she called mind. This is well. This is why I ran um, Psy Shock on Mew for this specific situation. Now the question is: at plus one, plus one, I'm looking at Landris. I don't know. Why I'm looking at a Landris. Okay, so at plus one, plus one, she does not kill a T Bolt. Uh, neither, but I also do not kill with. I can actually. I can actually straight up lose to this set. Oh my god. 
why is my prep so god my prep was so goddamn bad this week it's actually insane so i'm a big trouble here like major trouble well i've been i've been kind of on the back seat the entire game <sighs> Oh, plus one T-Bolt doesn't actually... Oh my god. Had, tra had I not CC, but it, uh, had I not lo lost the life of health from Terragon, I actually could have survived this incoming Thunderbolt. Now the question here is, do I just Fire Blast for damage? Do I... Yeah, see the Hakobellion is, uh, is most likely Scarf. So that doesn't mean that actually does mean the setup with Tragian is gonna be difficult. Oh my god, I mean that's such a losing battle here. I wanna fire blast for the damage, but at the same time I actually don't know how to deal with this Raikou after that. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I'm losing a and I'm fighting a very Oh she had Shadow Ball. Oh my god, I survived. I don't know why I didn't think about Shadow Ball. Um it's such a common ring on this goddamn thing. I got lucky there. <laughs> I got so lucky. It's actually insane. <laughs> Why did I? Oh my god. I'm so off my game. Um, and I don't want to blame everything on it being me recording right now. But it definitely has something to do with it. Uh, but overall, I'm just going to sack Sandy here. Uh, Sandy Shandy here. Because... I doubt, uh, doubt I outspeed the Cabalion, the Landers maybe, but I doubt I outspeed the Charizard. The Primarino would be the only thing. Actually, I'm gonna oh, I have so much trouble dealing with the uh, Primarino right now. So, plus one, plus one. Does Terragion take the hit? It does not. Um, could go Northern. The problem just is, just is the Drago Meteor is... Actually, Drago Meteor isn't... Oh my god, that's actually very bad. Shadow Ball. Mew should. Okay, Mew should survive the Shadow Ball, and if it doesn't, it means she is modest. So this this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Uh, I honestly have. Oh my god, that mattered. Oh, that mattered a lot. That mattered a button. That's not good. I think I lose you. I think I lose you now. Oh, I think I lose you. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I'm, pl oh, I'm playing so b sorry. Sorry for raising my voice and being angry. But I'm, play I'm playing so badly, and that's that's what's uh, annoying me the most right now. It's it's straight up how bad I'm playing. Cause even if I go into Neuvern and a Drago Meteor, I actually don't kill this thing. I have to go draggy and I hope I somehow survive. That's that's my only play. That's my only play. But I've I've lost this match. Uh, I can't do anything. I've lost. I don't know. I don't know if I got out prepped. I don't think I got out prepped. Maybe. Oh my god, it has all Why? Wait. Oh, it's because she doesn't have fucking. Oh. Yeah, no, I lost. I can't do anything. I mean, I can. I I don't. I don't, even, I don't outspeed this thing either. The, oh my, how come I did not prepare for this freaking Raikou at all? I don't get it. It's weird. Like it's it's right there. I know how good Raikou can be. I've had it before. I think I think it's because it getting access to Skull and it's getting uh, access to Arsia without running Rash Nature has messed up my mind because I don't realize just how good coverage that is for Raikou to have because this also made it so she couldn't hit my Mega Steelix as soon as I lost Delmice I lost this game Getting her getting her T-Spikes up was, was brilliant that was really good for her uh, of course the crit on Mew as far as I could see on my calcs it mattered Mew should have been able to take a Shadow Ball no matter what Unless it's modest, and if it's modest, then Terragon outspeeds, which it didn't. So I know it's timid. Okay, yes, yeah, she just T-bolts. Yeah, I can't do anything. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, that was kind of a bad showing on my first... Oh, it's really weird because I've been on this amazing streak lately. Like, I won my last, I think, four or five games in, div in other leagues. But this one, for some reason, I just completely... I just play. I played bad, and I didn't prepare for Raikou enough. I think I prepared for the rest of mods, but even though I, I kind of had Raikou as a potential mod to come, I don't know why. I just didn't think about it. Calm mine. I I brought Psyshock on you because I thought she would be Calm mine. I don't know why I didn't think she would have Shadow Ball. Aura Sphere I think is a little more iffy bring because I think being able to wall switch around but I mean <laughs> I think I have to figure out to have my calcs on my right side because looking at the left all the time is actually really weird for me it, di it distracts me a whole lot more than I thought it would do but yeah GG to Nadia uh, I totally got outplayed um there's nothing really I can say. I, I, I feel like I played bad, but also feels she played pr pretty well. Uh, there were some situations where if I had just done one or the other, I would have been in such a better position. I mean, I mean that's that's Pokemon. That is what it is. Uh, that's how we play it. But with that, I'm gonna be out. So, peace, YouTube.